Uh, Burkhart, right there. Uh, this is beekeeping in Ohio, Conrad, uh, me and Corey and Omar. We're going to be checking out our hives today. And so we thought we'd share that with you. So I'm going to hand this camera to Corey and let her film it, okay? This box right here is bees that needed fed. So I turned the brick up edgeways so that they need it. So, so I, I would know that they were being fed in the past. And here the girls are. Look at that. Check out, uh, come over here, Corey. Check out what they've got left. They did a pretty good job, but I'll tell you what, the bricks, the sugar bricks that I make is the best. They're, they're a lot better than putting sugar in because you see when you take the sugar out it goes all over inside the hive but if you put sugar bricks in instead you can just pick them right up and take them and store them no problem <laughs> not much left of that brick they sure worked on them bricks and we're gonna see if we can't get one in here without killing any bees Give them another one. I've been feeding them sugar water now for a month uh, because of the weather was nice enough. Let's see if we can't get these pieces out of the way. I prefer to get the uh, sugar water right over top of the cluster if we can. But if we can't, they'll still eat it. But it's nice to have it right over the cluster in case it cools down. They can get to it better, okay? So there's another brick for them girls. Gonna close them back up. We just checked some and they're not making new queens yet. So we're good. We need to uh, get some more bricks because we've uh, got some more hides that need. could use some bricks. But they are gobbling the sugar water right out of that, right out of that uh, bird feeder over there. That's a good way to feed them and they don't drown in it. So we turn our bricks up to let us know that in that hive they have sugar water. I mean they have sugar bricks. And so uh, we're gonna go through some more of them and see if they need more sugar bricks to keep them until they get lots, lots of pollen. Today, what is today? What's the date today? You know? No. <laughs> Don't it's about uh, 28th of March, about the 28th of March. Bees are going to swarm early this year because they are getting a lot of pollen early and they are working like a wildfire, bringing in pollen. And so we're going to split them in half and we're going to double our hives plus make new, new queens early. And check out these bees right here. <laughs> see what they have ate so far they're doing a good job on these sugar bricks and i need to go to the house and get more sugar bricks because these girls might need it look what they have done look at what they have done to the bottom of this sugar brick <laughs> they, they can really gobble these things up it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so we're going to uh, leave this one open for a little bit till I run up and get some more sugar bricks. So we'll end the film for today. And have a blessed year this year. You're with your bees. But get your swarm box out early or you're going to lose your bees. And divide them up and make nooks out of them so you don't have them all swarming on you. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye.